Hey guys, TJ and Dave here from Gemini Fitness and Combat. Begrudgingly, this week's fundamental, guard pulley. You should be working on the top, you should be working on your takedowns. This is what happens when shit goes wrong, in my opinion. It's still a sport, so we're going to address it. I still pull guard from time to time. But I think the priority should be playing the top game, the stand-up game, and then if you end up getting swept or something bad happens, you should have a solid guard. I still like to play guard. All that being said, when you go and you pull guard, you can't pull in this range right here. If you pull straight down, the person's just gonna drop down, right? So if I'm here, I go pull guard, I put it on his hip, and I come straight down, his knee's here. It's no good. You need to work in a circle. Next, whenever somebody grips on you, they're gonna be married to this. So no matter where I go, they're gonna try to maintain this grip. And that's why you get they teach people to break grips. I don't think of it as he has me. I think of it as we're connected. So I have options from there. Now, I'm grabbing the wrist, the elbow, or claw, collar, collar time. It's all the same stuff. I don't want to work in this range. I want to circle. So when we're here, it's going to stay right here. I want to make him heavy step and then commit. So when I step, there's the step there. His weight distributed there. Now when I pin my foot towards the hip, Certainly, I'm able to keep my guard. If I just go and then I just drop straight down, he's gonna just drop his knee up. He's already starting to pass. This is a bad time for me. Now, regardless if I'm grabbing over the collar tie, elbow, claw, all this stuff is just bringing him back into me. So we're trying to bring him into that bear trap that we call a guard. But if you make him step, we have other options from there. Get your curve again. I go making heavy steps there right here actually. I step, there's the step there. Now I'm right in my deli heva or whatever, whatever out of ground I want to pull at that point in time. If you learn to, to leave the ground to do this, be careful. It's not the other person's responsibility to return you safely. So you know, a lot of people go out there, jump guard, smack uh, their head on the floor and knock themselves out. I was at Worlds, someone jumped through a flying triangle smack their head on the ground, got a concussion, is it is a bad time for them. So just be careful with all this guys. Um, that's this week's fundamental. Check out the video afterwards. Thank you for your time. Hey, thank you for watching. Remember to like, share, subscribe, uh, send this to somebody who may, you know, use it, need it, whatever it may be. If you have any questions, leave them down below or send us an email. Be happy to answer them uh, for you or go over it on one of the future videos. Uh, follow us on Instagram and uh, Facebook. Um, we'll do a TikTok at some point. If you go on Ropefin, all of our classes are available on there. So you can check those out as well. And then uh, we have an armbar course for sale down below. Go and check that out as well. Uh, thank you for watching. Appreciate your time. Cheers.